Mr. Bailey and good morning from Miss Rosie and good morning from me who probably oh there's a chicken over there too good morning from the chicken <laughs> and good morning from me who I have no idea how disgusting I look <clears throat> as you can probably hear I'm actually not the best at the moment I've um yeah I've got another nice sinus infection going on I think well I do yeah and it started off I actually filmed a vlog on Friday and if I hadn't lost the footage you would have heard I had a very sore throat so it's probably just as well you didn't have to put up with that for a whole video anyway <laughs> um, but yeah I've had a pretty I haven't really I've yeah I don't really think much better actually over the weekend the sore throat's gone but I still have sinus pain body aches and pains so luckily enough we didn't have any planned over the weekend so we've just been watching more Breaking Bad and um I did start work on Friday up in my spare room, so I've made some progress on that. But I've been filming that for a separate vlog, so a separate video, so you will get to see that anyway. Um, I've been trying to think what else I shared on Friday, and if I think of anything else, I'll um, let you know. I think there was um, I talked about the new um, the book Outlander, or it's called Cross Stitch here in Australia. It's um, coming out into a TV series, and I was very excited to discover that on Friday. Um, <clears throat> so, because it's not one of my favourite books, as I said, it's called Cross Stitch here, and I've read it uh, probably between four and six times. I read it every couple of years. I'm reading it since I remember our first trip to Scotland. A girl telling me about it. So that was back in '97. Yeah, '97 we first went to Scotland. So that was the first time I read it. So, <clears throat> and I've read it probably every couple of years since then. I just love it. So, I think I'm going to get it out again now before the series comes out next year. And so kind of book you think, oh, it's so fantastic as a movie because it's such a good book. But how would the point of a movie, it goes for, it's such a big book. Um, a movie couldn't possibly do it justice, but it's going to be a TV series. So that's yeah, really exciting. Ever read <clears throat> Cross Stitch or Outlander? Do yourself a favour. If you like history, Scottish history in particular, history and romance and adventure, go and read it. It's a fantastic book. I've read a few of the others in the whole series. I haven't finished them. I got up to about, I think I said, I say book five, but including book four, I started reading it, <clears throat> and it was earlier this year or late last year. I just, I lost interest, and I think because it wasn't in Scotland anymore, it was set in America, and it was still good, but it was just a much more of a slog. I don't know. Maybe if I start reading a game from the start, it might be better, but anyway, so today's plans, I just. <laughs> I sort of feel better. I'm so sick of this. You might recall July. I was sick. I'm just getting my tea. I'm just going to run the tea. As if you were around in July, we recall the approach the whole of July. I was wiped out with a sinus infection. I don't know why I get them so much nowadays. I never ever suffered with sinus problems until a few years ago. The same as the arthritis. Well, the arthritis has been coming on for a number of years. But they're all inflammatory, so they're all related. So anyway, luckily I don't have a lot to do today. Um, I wasn't planning to film it again today, but since I lost Friday's footage, I thought I'd film it today, and I'm going to film... I'm going to go Wednesday. I'm going to do Thursday, I'm going to do both. We'll see. Um, I've, got to, I've got to be on this week, so I can't afford to be sick this week. I've got stuff on. Oh, and you'll notice that I did <clears throat> I decorate for Halloween. I got that done on Friday too. So I've, got, I've missed quite a bit on Friday, but I guess most of it... Um, Either I'll remember, or we, we'll, you'll see. But I'm doing, again doing a Halloween video too, so both of those things that you'll we'll see. I'm going to do Halloween. Sure, just waiting on picking up some candles from my friend Leanne. But um, so I've got a busy week this week, so I'll probably next week before I get up to see her and pick them up. <coughs> and then I've got to clean the house because I didn't get a proper clean last week. Now in hindsight, I wish I'd done the proper clean last week because that's you feel you're right at the time. <laughs> I think I just did it for a lack of time. I just did a sort of a speedy clean. But if I'd done the proper clean, this week I could have got a speedy clean, but I'll just have to see how it goes. I'll just take one room at a time and um, see how it goes. Internet is um, 
I think Kevin's lost his good internet, so we are going to try um, upload it at home. I think I might also be mentioned that on Friday's vlog. If I do repeat things that you've already heard, that's why, because I'm remembering things I've told you and that I don't know if it was on Friday or not. I think it was on Friday that I, um, I mentioned that Kim was getting me my own um, internet line for at home, just for me to use to do my videos. <laughs> so, so this is what I said before at Kevin, um, being generous with technology, so he knows how much I enjoy making my YouTube videos. And it's funny because every time, for how often I think, oh, maybe I should just not do them for the time. And but I, I get so much out of it and interacting with you guys. Oh, I'm not looking in that bottle. To finish it off. Um, <clears throat> so he's um seen that for. I'm not gonna have a few weeks. So for a few weeks, I'm gonna have to just um use our normal internet we have at home. So I will try and um, I'm gonna try and do the compression thing that I was doing for him. He thinks that might help. At home as well, so I do upload the same way, and then we'll see how it goes. And I'll, I'll um, get them uploaded like once he leaves for work, probably be a good time. So, about seven o'clock, if I can be organized to start uploading then, and then hopefully by the time he comes home from work, it should be finished. So, I'm trying to think it's got to rain today. It looks like it might rain, I might not have to water the vegetable garden. I'll have a look at the radar and see, it looks a bit gloomy out there. <sighs> And Dad was over here on Friday fixing, doing the pool. It's still a bit murky. It was out of so much chemicals and stuff it needed. Um, it's not, it's not water pools, it's not chlorine, but it was way off whack of all its levels. So it's taking a bit of a while to come back to what it should. Anyway, I'll go have a cup of tea and sit and try and feel a bit better. And then, um, <clears throat> I probably should do Kevin's lunch now. And she'll do that first. Okay, I've prepared her lunches. <clears throat> Luckily, Amy already had a salad. I made salad for Amy and I yesterday. Made one up for both of us for today. So she's got her lunch ready. Her salad had pineapples on the side today. Uh, there today didn't fit in a container. She's got some little filler chili, uh, Philadelphia cheese, and some crackers. Put from Belveda. We haven't got any chew cookies made at the minute. And um, a Luna bar. She probably doesn't need all that. But, um, so she goes. <clears throat> Kevin has got a turkey and cranberry sauce. Oh, it's actually not cranberry sauce. It's all the lingonberry. It's the same thing. It's the one from Ikea. So he's got that. And turkey on a sandwich. This is the um, breakfast bread that I made when I went up to Sydney. He really likes that. I'll, I'm going to make it again and let me try. But it's good. I just cut it up and froze it. So he's got that. A banana and the banana yogurt that he likes. For my tea now. And I'm going to have a couple of Bobita biscuits because I have... I haven't eaten anything yet this morning and I don't know, I just feel ick. Um, probably should go and have some breakfast, but I'll have, I might just have two of them and have two later on. There's my tea. I'm a bit off now, I feel exhausted. Having made two lunches. I was going to show you these shadows out here. What a weird day the weather was. What well, a big break clouds at that side. What a good my palm tree shadow. <laughs> Little groupy. I like things like that. And the great clouds in behind, obviously the sun's other direction. Over there. Oh, it's really quite cool out here. Very nice actually. I was hot in there, so I'm taking my jacket off, but I think that's just um being unwell. It's nice. a bit cold out here though, yeah. Jump inside, but I've cooled down a bit anyway. Oh, it's probably gonna be a really boring vlog for you guys again. I don't mind vlogging when I'm sick when I've been sick for a few days if I don't vlog why I'm sick. I don't know, who knows when you'll get a vlog again. But it was, it was really good. Like on Friday, <clears throat> I mean, even on Tuesday, when you, which is the last one you saw, and I said I was going to do something. I really got, I got it done. So that's what I love about. Um, it's just, you know, I know a lot of people do it online and they're reporting what they're doing. I mean, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people do that. They used to have like a group, um, you know, the Facebook group, even I didn't ever do it because the time zones were never right. But you know, once you report it in, you're more likely to go and do, it, do things. Just wake up Charlie. He can go outside today. It was too hot for him outside yesterday. So I'll let him wake up first. So yeah, I find it really keeps him on track. So that was good on Friday. I thought I'm going to do this. I went and did it and just breaking jobs down and just fall apart. <laughs> Not fair. Oh well. <laughs> 
I'll have to find a deal. I just wish I, I just wish I knew what to do to stop it coming back. Cause that's coming really quick. Was it July? I had two, just had two good months, and then it's back again. Ugh. Usually I get it every winter, but mind you, the weather has been crazy, hot and cold all over the place. But I don't know. And Amy wasn't well too. She's had it. She was off on Friday with a sore throat. So usually I get my stuff at the same time, but throat's all right. Still a bit croaky, but. Look at the house, look at the mess of the... <laughs> it's not too bad, I did a pick up yesterday, but... Uh, what happens when I'm sick, it's, you know... I had to laugh, Kim just come through the house. Is that like a... like a chainsaw? Amy, it's not a chainsaw, is it, or is it? Okay. I don't know. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh dear, I think it's getting worse. That's all the roots of that ornamental pear tree you might remember we had in there and we got that out and now it keeps growing up roots even though the tree's not there. <laughs> it's funny you didn't walk through the house with that. Is that a chainsaw, Kevin, or not? No, it's a hedge trimmer. A hedge trimmer. No, the chainsaws are much bigger, aren't they? Yeah. This would be odd seeing so you walk through the house with that. Yeah, okay. Kevin had got everything. So Amy, after me packing her lunch so nice, she decided it couldn't fit the bag is pretty full. <laughs> it couldn't fit in her bag. They always just snooze. Feeling probably a bit of my head's still in my head. But I'm gonna go have a shower now. I should probably wake Christy up because it's it's eight o'clock. <laughs> She's not up yet, so I'm gonna go wake her up. The tissue in a shoe. I don't know how that happened. I might have dropped it on my way past. I have a little tissue collection. Oh, there goes the cuckoo. Thank you. Let me up to my little cuckoo clock. As a result of me working in the study. So, this is all stuff to donate. Oh, that's sheets from Amy's Christmas sleepover. Oh. And I've got stuff there I'm not using. I'll give it all sneak peeks. And she didn't see this before. But I've got my full footage. Let's see a little Mooey. Good morning. The little princess. So one thing I bought was this shampoo and conditioner dispenser. I'm not quite sure that we're killing to put it in. It's filling them with this one, so not much coming out of it. Oh. And the main reason I've got this is I've got, I'm having a lot of, I think I've mentioned before, I've got a bit of like signs of osteoarthritis in my hands and um, squeezing bottles <laughs> like this is where I feel it. And they actually had a three one, I probably should have got it, they had um, a body wash one. But I don't find most, this one I find is actually hard to squeeze. It just depends on the body wash, some are easier, I guess it depends on how thick the um, body wash is. Now I've got a bit more room. That conditioner's not coming out. <laughs> I'm sure there's loads of conditioner in that one. I had more than shampoo, actually. Maybe not. I'm going to have to squeeze it out. This always makes me smile. <laughs> He's so funny. He doesn't look comfortable, does it? I guess he always head the off the bed. You're a funny boy. You're a funny fella. You're the funniest puppy I've ever known. <laughs> I love you, baby. Rose is over there on her bed. Aren't they cute? But this one, I don't know. <laughs> He's been doing this his whole life. <laughs> and he still makes me smile. I still get surprised to find this. I'm a shower. Um, no makeup today. I'm actually going to film sometime in the next couple of weeks my. Um, morning routine, skincare routine, someone had requested that. I went to see my makeup collection, so it's not a, it's not a big collection and I feel a bit sort of funny showing them, but if people are interested, I'm happy, if anyone's got a request, I'm most likely happy to film that. So I will be doing those two videos coming up, because obviously at least someone's interested, and if at least one person is interested, well, it's worth my time. <laughs> so um, I will be doing those shortly. I have got my bag of full empties. What I end up doing is putting a bag in my closet and now that it's sort of full to almost overflowing it's time to do an empty video so I'll probably film that tomorrow and now I'm going to get this washing on uh, Christy when I went to wake her up wasn't feeling good she said um, she 
still ongoing stomach issues. She's on some um, under pediatrician, but um, she doesn't eat the best. Not on the weekends. I wish she had friends over. I don't think she had a piece of fruit nor a vegetable all weekend. So she's probably now paying the prices for that. It's her breakfast. Get this washing on and um, look what the plants and do the dishwasher. So I'll finish up my normal things. It's quarter to nine, so we're running way behind time. I'll leave this empty seat for now. Um, yeah, so I'll take this in now. I'm just going to just take a little job at a time. I'm not going to take the dogs for a walk, but I have to go and get some bread rolls later on for lunches tomorrow. So I'll take them to the dog park and they can have a run and a play and stretch their legs. But um, yeah, I think I'll just for me. I know once I start cleaning, I'll probably wear me out again, so we'll just have to take it easy today and get things done. So we've got a school clothes out and everything for her. Make his fast asleep again. Okay, so I made up Amy's bed. Oh, hey, look at this mess. I'll try and do with that um, um, tomorrow. I'm just going to water the vegetable garden. Look, something's been nibbling. I think my lettuce, I think it's little sparrows. I'm just going to do this sinus cleanse because that's always fun. We'll see if I feel any better afterwards. Okay, so I've got my breakfast, tea and some of the toast and my vitamins. Got the kitchen a bit cleaned up. I've got some washing soak in there. I'll come and do it after. We've got sort of cleared up. Um, those dishes I've got put away. And that's some of the food that's a bit past its best. I'm going to chop it up for the doggies later on for their dinner. So... Yeah, the kitchen's in not too bad state, ready for me to start cleaning after having my breakfast. So I've just um, got the washing hung out and I've just taken chai through the kitchen. I'm just going to show you these guys. I'm going to go out and lie in the hot sun. It's so funny. That's a little spot. A spot where they go to lie. <laughs> he doesn't even know I'm right here. They'll come in all really hot. <laughs> my computer. Whoop. I dropped my phone. Let's close my computer. I'm watching a vlog from um, Splink. I can't even talk. Sprink oh, this is a sprinkle of chatter. So it's Louise of sprinkle of glitter. But this is a sprinkle of chatter. She did a day in the life vlog. And it's very cute. A little girl. Isn't she gorgeous? She's just so cute. So this is um, this is a nice vlog to watch. So I'll finish watching this later on. But now look. I'm going to close up the computer. Put my feet down. <laughs> Now the puppies are all comfortable. Well, you are comfortable there, Bailey. And I'm going to make you move because once I'm... Oh, tail twitching. Once I move, that will get up to... Okay, I have my, my apron on. I bought this at Disney World. I think on our very first trip. So then 1999. So I've had this apron for a very long time. It's worn it very well. So I've got my apron on and I'm ready to... Get the cleaning basket out and do some cleaning. I really don't feel like it, but you guys are going to keep me on track, whether you're nutwood or not. <laughs> I'm going to start and do this room, and it probably won't even take that long. I was trying to work out whether I'd listen to a podcast or some music, but I'm actually going to Sibiki Mountain on Saturday night, so we might put on some. Oh, I like this one. This is a new song. Put on some Ricky Martin to keep me company. Okay, 15 minutes later, and this room is done. <laughs> but it doesn't take very long. And I also um, <clears throat> vacuumed out in the spa room too. Ricky Martin's not too loud there. So I also vacuumed out there as well. I haven't been doing that unless I try and incorporate that into my weekly cleaning. Well, you finally come back inside, didn't you, Bay? You come back inside, you were a hot doggy. What are you doing? Not hot now, though. You're so cute. You're so cute. So now, I'm going to move on to this room, the kitchen. Which is probably the worst room downstairs to do. Um, but I tied my desk yesterday. I don't have to tie my desk. That's good. <laughs> just got to clean it. And obviously, I don't do that. I've got dust. And um, be sure the kitchen, vacuum, dust in that room. Not before, so it's 25 to 11. We'll see how long this room takes us. And Christy's awake and up ready for school. So she's just going to have some 
lunch now because you'll arrive at school at lunchtime anyway. I've cleaned the kitchen. Right. Do those of you whose kids have this problem? Discs borrowed and not put away. So cranky. I found a, um, I want to watch a nightmare before Christmas uh, for Halloween. But of course the disc isn't there. Look, another disc at the back. At least it's not on my one. Barbie one. But it just drives me crazy. Why they can't put them back in the cases. Well, I've got all that done. So I've now I've mopped the floor. So these rooms are all done. And I'm really feeling really rather exhausted. Um, hot and sweaty and it's not hot. I think it's just a bit of a temperature. So... I'm going to take Chrissy up to school now and go get my few grocery items that I need for a good little break anyway. And um, take the dogs to the park. Then I'll come and after, maybe after lunch I'll finish this room and the front entry and the toilet. So that's all I've got to do. So, um, yeah, I'm pipped. I've just dropped Christy off at school. It's probably day, isn't it? Now oh, I feel really, really bad. Okay. I've got the puppies. Oh, she's over there too. Oh, you look at me, Shibu. What are you doing, Rosie? <laughs> I'm just waiting for Christy to get across the road. I know she's at school, all right? I, mean, I don't know why, because she goes to school on her own anyway, but that's funny, I guess, because not many people around. So, off she goes. That's 11 30. We're in the middle of lunchtime at the minute, so that's why I didn't sort of rush to get her here in the end when she was awake, because it's over lunchtime to 12 o'clock. So, just waiting for her. <laughs> so I am going to uh, I'll go and get the groceries first so the dogs aren't all hot and sitting in the car. So I'll go do that. Really bad. Anyway, I'll do that. So I'll get my groceries. Um and I'll take them to the park. That's what I've got to do, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing to me that. Then I'll go home and I'll have my lunch and have a rest and then I'll um, even since this afternoon to get those last few rooms done and then I'll leave upstairs to tomorrow because I've already gone and got some groceries. It won't last me all week but it should tide me over to the Friday or the weekend. Yeah. Park. Now we're going to put in the ball, Rose. It's in my handbag Okay. Off the road. Off. Don't be silly. Don't. Not oh, Rosie. No. Take us with you. Go. Go. Take your thing out. Do not. No. Bailey, he's gone off. I'm going to bring her ball for her. Because she's silly. I don't want to laugh her, maybe. <laughs> he's off. He's off. He's off organised here. There's a ball Ooh, in my handbag. Which is a bit of an odd place for a ball to be. There we go, we have a ball. We have a ball. And now we have the, the ball throwing thing. <laughs> Oh dear me, mum is having one of these days, Rosie. <laughs> Ready, Rose? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't throw the stick this time. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. We have a toilet break, aren't we already? Yeah. Oh, excuse Rosie. Bailey's over there. It's a nice day. How pretty. You finished now, Rosie? You ready for some more funny? <laughs> I'm trying to let the stick go. Oh dear. Really? Oh, it's cool. We've had a good stretch of the legs. Oh, it's a roll. <laughs> she go very far from me. He's done a whole, a whole park around the edges. It looks like he's dry still. He is a good dog. She's looking for dots, I don't know why. There are no dots here. Rosie, you've got a bit of OCD now then. 
No dots. Alrighty, come Bailey. She's gonna go home now. She's had enough. She won't chase any balls. She's not gonna chase them all. Don't you? Come Bailey. Come on. Good boy. Where you going? Oh! oh. <laughs> the good smell of the rosy just rolled. Must be a good smell there. A good smell there, Bailey. Oh yes. Oh yes. Ah, they seem to enjoy that. Look at that. My glass is kind of crazy. Um, yeah. So they've had a good time. I'm gonna head home now. Um, go home and get these groceries unpacked. I was going the other way and I saw these puppies. Oh my gosh. One golden. Another one's up. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Alrighty, you want to see what I quickly got? I stopped, stopped in at the, mag at the magazine shop. At the newsagent to buy the new women's fitness magazine. Which, uh, I looked at some other magazines and really wanted to buy some, but no, I didn't know it was good. They're just so expensive. That's not too bad. It's only $6. But some more of this pear and raspberry bread, which we really like. Uh, I think I might not show it to you. I don't know. I showed it on Friday. I bought it late on Friday. Friday? No. Probably Tuesday it must have been, when I did my grocery, so you probably saw that last week. So I went got another one of them because it's nice and it's not too bad. Um, some bananas, I've got some green ones. We've still got a few left from Friday. Some strawberries, more Brussels sprouts. They had like four left when I got some on Friday, so I had them all stocked up again. So I bought some more and some big potatoes and some little baby potatoes. Lettuce, because we always send around our lettuce. Um, and some grapes. Um, they're imported grapes from America. They're not the greatest, but... Um, as we just put some fruit to take to school, I'll get them washed for her. Um, now this, this was like $13, so it's pretty expensive. But um, I'm going to be on Saturday night at the Ricky Martin concert, so Kevin and Amy can have that for dinner, and I'll just organise something for Christy. She can have a potato or something, but um, that way they don't have to get takeaway. Because obviously takeaway is going more than $13. <clears throat> some more of the free-range turkey breast for Kevin's lunches. I needed some more of my beans out of these, my favourite ones, and I'll just grab another lot of the uh, fake chicken strips. So, um, what are they called? They're called chicken style strips. But it's um, a soy, a GMO free soy milk, which is all we really needed. And I've got some, because it's kind of my weekly shop, I'm hoping not to have to do a shop again. Um, I'll add a little bit and pieces. I've got some juices for the girls. Now, Amy, that, the big one. She usually gets her out of, so I've got her one little one because she's still got some left from last week anyway. But she does water it down, has it half and half. Yeah, for Kevin, so he has a nice banana one today, and some cream for just whenever. Some sour cream, I won't show her placed on that. Cottage cheese is for a dinner. Oh, you know what I didn't buy? Cauliflower, which I need for the dinner that goes with this, but I've got most of a cauliflower there, so if I don't use it up, I should be right. And then I bought a couple of these drinks, these cans, and three different flavors. I bought all three because it is a fizzy fruit drink. Um, Kevin liked them, and um, Amy said they were okay. She didn't really like the flavor I got for her. So what's the ingredients? So you've got fruit juices, and carbon dioxide, food acid, vitamin C flavors. So heaps better than like Coke. Um, Things like that, so they're not cheap, and they're four dollars, so a dollar a little can. But if you're only having one, anyway, I'm just trying to, so I'm trying to find that compromise of foods where people are happy, and if they can have one of them and enjoy it, well, then that's probably okay. I got some bread rolls for their lunches for the next two days, and I saw these, so I got these for Halloween. I don't know how many in the pack, that's any problem, it's just 4.5 serves. But they are, look, little Halloween-y ones. So, they are $5 a packet, so I only got one packet. I, just, I might open them to see how much. I thought they'd be fun to put in the, well, everyone's lunches on Halloween. So, I'm going to keep them a surprise. I haven't seen them before, and I just spot them today. Oh, I just opened them. Aren't oh, they so cute? Oh, my gosh, they are cute. So, there's nine. <laughs> Down there four, we have nine. But this really one gets... Each. Oh, they're too cute. Love them. 1.30 now? Yeah, 1.30. No, the day goes. It's got on cool. well, I've cooled down now. But I've decided I am going... Let's put my bags away. I'm going to finish cleaning the house downstairs. And um, then I'm going to have some lunch. 
Oh, I'll chop my head off against the mirror. <laughs> oh, I look horrendous today, so sorry guys. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit better though. Um, so I'm gonna, what have I got to do? I've got to do scrapbook room. I haven't done some scrapbooking on Friday and I should try and do some today. I'm trying to do three days a week, but I think I'll be able to clean now and then tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just um, using my Project Life sleeves to do some of our, of our Germany trip. I do a big photo book, so this is just some, a lot of photos I actually have <laughs> of the Germany one, which I'll put into our travel, um, my general travel album I have over here. Um, what have we got? Yeah, like pl places we go. These are the Stacey Julian Library of Memory systems that I use, so I can put just to have many pages of the project. I don't know, 10 pages or so, maybe more on German. I'll just pop them in there. So I'm just keeping it simple. Because um, I really want, I enjoyed it and I did enjoy the other day. I didn't do it, like you can see, it wasn't very creative or anything, but just little bits. And I've still got to make up some pages. But it was fun. I enjoyed it. So I'm going to try and, um, I'm going to try and do a couple of, like, say, three times a week and see how it goes. Because I used to, like, every, before YouTube, yeah, pretty much before YouTube. Every afternoon I'd, I'd have my lunch, like at 12 or 12.30. I'd come over here and I'd spend like two hours in here every day. And then sometimes on the weekends as well. And I just loved it. I really enjoyed it. And I think it would be good for me to get back to that little dog. Can you come through? <laughs> and so they go on when I'm scrapbooking. Well, I'm not scrapbooking puppies. <laughs> no. I'm going to clean. Is there enough room for you, Bailey? I love how he steps up. He's a step rubber. And that's the positions for mummy scrapbooks, isn't it? You're funny puppies. I just wanted to give a special mention. A special mention to Audrey from Audrey's Wife Life. Pretty sure that's the channel name. Um, for inspiring me and motivating me to get back to my craft. Because um, she, she manages to take time to do a bit of crafting. And it's got me re-inspired to do it again. Because really, I have really missed it. Um, but I kind of think, I don't know, I'm in a hurry. But I really enjoyed it, and I think it's um, a good thing for me to be a bit creative and a bit crafty. I'm sorry, there's feathers flying around as I dust. So, anyway, thank you, Audrey. I think you do watch some of these videos, so big thanks to you for inspiring me to make time to do this. All done. Floors mops, bathroom cleaned. And also a vacuum the stairs. It's what I do as part of downstairs. So I'm gonna eat some lunch now. And luckily lunch is already made. <laughs> so. so I should take my salad out the fridge earlier actually. Put it in my salad and I'll just um, heat up some of the um, the veggie bites that I've got. I need a dressing too. Got some of my favourite bean patties to go with that. I'm just taking a cup of tea, and the pups and I are going to go and visit Nan for a bit. Pop just come over and want to borrow, want to borrow the dogs. I said to mummy, anytime she needs the dogs for a cuddle or whatever, let me know. And he just said, "Can I borrow the dogs?" And I said, "Do I come over too for a chat?" And he said, "Yeah, that'd be good." And I'm back. Um, the dogs have stayed over there, so I'm going to have to do the school run without Bailey today, which is a bit sad. <laughs> I miss my mate when he's not with me, but he's already been for a car ride today, so. So I've still got 10 minutes. What can we do for 10 minutes? I really need to do a blog post. Um, don't think I've got much else to get done in 10 minutes. I'll look at that, see if I can do a post maybe. Hi. The girls are home, as you can see. One just disappeared. Chris is playing the computer game. Oh, good boy. No, sweet boy. He's a good fella. <laughs> he looks so pretty. How pretty? One man, one man, one man, one man. Oh, see Rosie? No, she looks pretty too. Onions up. I've got sweet potato. This is the recipe. I've had this one for a long, long time. Um, no idea where I got it from now. <laughs> so I can't give any credit. This is the mixture. So it's a sweet potato. The fried onion and garlic, cumin, and the cannelli beans. Cannellini beans. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. That is the grated cheese, which are grated. Anyway, that's it. Super easy. Okay, well, you can't really see them, it's all wrapped up. <laughs> that 
that's it there. And um, Chris is having a potato with some melted cheese. Oh, dinner's done. Chris is down there washing up. Daddy's having a very noisy drink. And I'm going to go for bed. It's 20 to 7. We're going to watch some more Breaking Bad. We're on to new episodes now, which is good. <laughs> the last, I think. There's six more to watch, I think. Time for some Breaking Bad. We didn't get a little logo tonight. It's getting exciting. Was oh, that Walt? Yeah. Ooh. Well, Amy was nice enough to make us some of the chocolate. The dead girl with pretty eyes. The cheer cookies tonight, and I made us all some popcorn. Can you wake up right here? She knows the noise. Finished. Now. Breaking so Bad. Good. Finished it. And it is <laughs> way past our bedtime. It's 11.30. <laughs> We never stay up this late. No, we don't. I think Rosie might have even gone to bed. I don't know, Bally's over there sleeping, but... Yes, it is finished. It was very good. I was satisfied with the ending. <laughs> kind of. Well, yeah, I was. I wasn't satisfied with some other things that happened, but... The end was satisfactory. <laughs> That's all I will say for people who haven't watched it yet, although it sounds like most people have already watched it. Anyway, we're off to bed. <laughs>